Episode 2 of Season 1, back to Prem with Derby County, and we're going into January with not real big need for many reinforcements, so let's get into the game and see what we've got. Now, Alex Babos could be leaving us to go to... Well, he is leaving us to join the New Saints, and he's already gone, so he's a youngster that we're not too fussed about, to be honest. But it is now January. It is the January transfer window. There's lots of stuff happening. We get the... The Manager of the Month Award, which is very nice in the Sky Bit and, and the Chairman's very happy for us. Thank you, Mel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, no, no games played since the last episode, or the end of the first episode, I should say, um, which is where we got to January. So it was the end of December, and uh, we're going to be playing all of January. We're going to come back if we have any transfer news, but I'm not expecting too much to happen, because our squad is pretty good. And we don't have much money. So the chances are we'll come back at the end of January to review the results, which will be interesting. Maybe potential of a, a low knee or two, just to give us a little bit more squad depth. May see some outs. Florian Yusufson, as I think I mentioned in episode one, I'm probably happy to see him go, to be honest. His contract's running out, so we probably can't get that amount of money for him. Let's just try and get a million. I'll just try and get something. Some cash is better than none. Craig Forsyth as well, not playing very much. Five appearances this season. Uh, happy to see him leave, so we'll add him on the transfer list. We'll go for a million pounds, and hopefully we can get those two out and some money in, which will allow us to do some more business, hopefully. We'll find out. See you in a bit. So at the end of January, the 1st of February, here we are. We've brought in uh, three loanees. Alex Collado has joined from Barcelona. Just a bit more option on either wing and potentially in the middle as well. Not a bad little player. Only £900 a week, so I thought we'd give it a go to get him in. The scouts did well to find him. Victor Johansson joins as a goalkeeper because Ben Hamer got pissed off and cancelled his loan. So he left. Um, so we just needed a backup goalkeeper. So Victor Johansson is on loan from Leicester and is playing as our backup goalkeeper. And then the big one, Mason Greenwood has joined on loan, worth twenty four million pounds, and he's in. He hasn't been featured for us yet. We didn't. We got him in. I think on was it dead? Was it deadline day? Yeah, de uh, no, just before deadline. Didn't bring him in deadline day. Week before deadline day, but he we's only we only had one game and he didn't get picked. I put him on the bench and didn't bring him on because uh, we we won. So. <laughs> Yes, that's the ins. On the outs, Mason Bennett has left for 200 k to Millwall. Uh, Jack Marriott's gone on loan to Brentford, hence why we bought in Mason Greenwood to give us a striker. But uh, they've bought him in. They're paying us quite a bit of money for it as well, 800 k which is good. Craig Forsyth has left for a million pounds to join Sunderland, which I'm happy with. He's not really going to threaten us. And uh, as we know, Alex Babos would left to join the New Saints, but we're not too fussed about that one. January has uh, been reasonably, reasonably successful. Three wins, two losses, and a draw. Uh, the the loss, the loss, draw was in the FA Cup third round, and a loss was in the FA Cup third round replay. We beat Barnsley 2-0, drew with 1-1 with the Southampton, uh, lost 1-0 to Middlesbrough after saying how badly they were doing and how well that made me look in the last Back to Prem series that I did. They ended up beating me 1-0 at the Riverside. Uh, Southampton beat us 2-0 back at St Mary's Stadium. A bit disappointing, really. We did quite well in the game. Hull City, 3-0. Uh, Lucardia still scoring goals. And Luton Town, 3-2, which is uh, good. Tom Lawrence and Wayne Rooney getting goals for us. Wayne Rooney getting a little brace, helping himself to a lovely little brace. We will come back. This episode will end um, probably at the end of March. So we're going to come back at the end of February, I think. Or do we go all the way through? And then we could do the third episode as... Uh, yeah, actually, we're going to go all the way through to April in this episode. And then the third episode will be May, end of season review, summer transfer window, and then Bosch, episode four, straight into the second season. I think that's what we'll do. So we'll come back uh, at the end of February for a quick little catch-up to see how that month went. We're back, and it is the 1st of April. April Fool's Day! Hooray! Um, yeah, I think I was meant to come back at the beginning of March, but I seem to have forgotten. So <laughs> we'll plow through. Um, February has gone... Pretty damn well. We didn't lose a game. Two draws, three win uh, four draws and three wins, sorry. Nil nil against Stoke, two two against Swansea. Um goals for Gomez getting his first for the club and Lucardia, which is good. Bristol City, we won one nil. Lucardia getting another two nil against Huddersfield, Gomez and Max Lowe from left back. Fulham that was the big game. 4-0 win. May, uh, Mason Green were getting on the score sheet. Rooney, Lacardia, goals all over the place. Lovely stuff. Unfortunately, we followed it up with a 1-1 draw against QPR. 
not the best. Then a 1-2-2 one, one, uh, two, two draw sorry, against Sheffield Wednesday. Fletcher getting two for them and Lacardia getting a penalty and Rooney scoring for us as well. And then a third draw and a bounce when we play Blackburn. And my phone is going, so please excuse okay. me. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, so Blackburn, 1-1 one, one was the result. Rooney getting us a goal and then Joe Rothwell equalising for them. 4-1, we smashed Millwall. Uh, Matt Clark, Wayne Rooney, Bogle and Gomez getting the goals. Mahoney getting them a consolation goal when we had finished scoring and thought we'd give them a chance. 3-1, uh, we lost to Reading at home. Very disappointing. Puskas getting two. Uh, Nicardio gave us a way back into it, but Lucas Boy made the difference for Reading to make it 3-1, and we've just beaten Preston 2-1 in the championship, away from home. Malone and Green were getting the goals, which leaves us top of the table by two points with a playoff place already guaranteed. So the board are delighted. We are scoring goals for fun now. Fulham and Leeds both sort of dropping off the pace. Brentford up there with us now. Two points the difference and not long to go. So we're going to go through April for the end of this episode. And then we're going to come back for the third uh, and final episode of Season 1 of Back to Prem. To play Birmingham, do a season review and then do the D uh, summer transfer window. Where if we go up, we're going to have a bucket load of money to spend, I hope. Um, but we'll see what happens. We'll be back at the end of April after the game against Leeds United, which could we've got Brentford and Leeds United in this run, and that is going to be absolutely crucial. So we will see you, well, in April. At the end of April, even. Not in April, at the end of April. So as we come to the end of April and the beginning of May, we have a chance to win the title. We are in prime position to do it, and it will be in the next episode if we find out we do. West Brom go down bottom of the table, believe it or not. They may have some players that you can poach um, in this thing. Really not a good performance from them. Mill oh, 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 hello. What was that? Mill and Charlton join them. Um, and at the top, us and Brentford are definitely going up. Two points between us with the final game of the season. We play Birmingham, who are in 13th. Uh, and they play Barnsley, who are in 15th, who will be a team featuring in Back to Prem, potentially, if someone wants it to happen. They were in the original 1992 Premier League table. But, uh, yeah, Fulham drop out and only secure a playoff place as the British Citadel and Leeds. And then QPR, Swansea, Blackburn and Reading are all fighting for the final uh, place in the playoffs. But, yeah, we are up. Our wage budget has been increased to £821 pounds. £821,000 a week in the Premier League and a £36 million transfer budget, which is uh, very nice indeed. We have one sale as well, which is strange, I know, because we're not in a transfer window, but he's moved to America. Dwayne Holmes has moved back home and gone back to his native land of America and uh, has moved for £2 million. They bought him off us, Nashville, so I'm happy with that. Uh, he wasn't playing at all, so happy to get rid. But yes, so... As we come down to the final game of the season, which will be in episode three, then it's, uh, yeah, we drew 1-1 one, one with Forrest. Not too bad. We got an equaliser through Tom Lawrence. 6-1. We smashed the really disappointing West Brom this season. Rooney getting two. Gomez getting one. Greenwood getting one. And Waghorn getting two as well after coming on as a substitute, which is good for him. Brentford 2-2. Two, two, so that kept us in pole position for the league. Um, not losing this game was crucial. And uh, we needed Lansbury and Waghorn to sort of bail us out of a hole, really. Cardiff we beat 1-0, which was a goal from Wayne Rooney. And we beat Lee. Leads 3-1. Tom Lawrence, Greenwood and Gomez getting on the score sheet in that one. Setting us up with a pretty much a draw will do game against Birmingham City. Because we are two points ahead and with a much better goal difference. So if we draw, which will keep us on 51 goal difference, uh, Brentford need to win 6-0. To, to go ahead of us in the table on goal difference. In fact, they probably need to beat us more than that. No, 6-0 would put them ahead on B, I think. Although, because we would have won... No, they would have won 30 games, so they would go ahead on, on games one, yeah. So, they will need to win 6-0 uh, to go ahead of us. So, that's quite an ask, I think, to be honest, of any team. But uh, if we look at the stats as we get towards the end of the season, we'll do a bigger review in the next episode. But um, this is just players ticked from where I put them on a rest. Uh, Ruse has pretty much not missed a game. Well, he has, actually he hasn't missed a game. It's not pretty much he hasn't missed a game. He hasn't missed a game. Uh, 51 appearances for him, 49 for Huddleston. And the really upsetting thing about this is that I'm pretty sure I'm going to let his contract expire and not give him a new one because he's 33 and I just don't... I think there's better options out there that we can bring in. He's been an absolute servant, a brilliant season. But yeah, not sure if he's going to get a contract renewal. Angel Gomez up there as well, 45 appearances, 44 for Graham Shinney and 42 for Max Lowe. Looking at goals, 
Lucardi is well out in front. 26 goals this season for Lucardi. Got him an 175 grand bonus, I think, for scoring 20 goals. Wayne Rooney on 17, Gomez on 15, and Tom Lawrence on 13, and then Waghorn in 8th. Assists this season, Tom Lawrence up there with 17, Gomez with 11, Wayne Rooney with 9, Lucardi with 8, and Tom Huddleston with 8 as well. And average rating-wise, I mean, Tom Huddleston's been the second best player all season. I really should give him another contract. I really should, shouldn't I? I really should. I know I should. Deep down, I know I should give Tom Huddleston another contract. But can he do it back in the Premier League? That's the question, because we're definitely going to be there. Well, it will be a question we answer in the next episode, I'm sure. Um, in ter it's just been brilliant. We're still using the 4-1-2-1 as well. It's been pretty good. Lots of good connections happening across the teams as well. Um, and we've got, a, we've got a decent squad here. We have got a decent squad. Whether it's cut out for Premier League, I don't know. We'll probably have to bring in some reinforcements for in the window, which will be exciting uh, for everybody. And we have got cash to spend as well, which is good. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But, obviously, we can hold a team meeting, which we'll be doing in the next, at the beginning of the next episode. So... All I can say is thank you so much for watching. We're going up again. Another club that we've taken up to the Premier League at the first time of asking. We've got to see what we can do in the next two seasons with Derby whilst we're up there. But thank you so much for watching. Go and check out all the other videos. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully see you around for the next videos as well. I'm out. Cheers.